Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Healthcare company um, Q Health receiving emergency use authorization for the F from the FDA for its rapid point of care test for coronavirus. Joining us now is Ayub Katak. He's the founder and CEO of Q Health. Uh, good morning to you, and uh, I, sh I should say congratulations for getting this this this, uh, this approval to do this. Tell us about the product. Uh, it yeah. is it's a point of point of care uh, diagnostic. Seems to do it very quickly. You can get it. You can get an answer in 25 minutes. How does it work? Yeah. So our product. Um, I actually have it here, if you don't mind. So this is the Q Show it to us. reader, and this is, yeah. So it's the COVID-19 test cartridge, and what you do to operate it is you insert the cartridge into the reader. Then you use the provided nasal swab, and you take a sample like this, and then you insert the swab into the cartridge, and the test starts automatically. Then the results are delivered in about 25 minutes to your mobile device. Once you're done, you take the cartridge, and then you can dispose of it because it's actually contained and sealed. So let me just ask you about this. Currently, you need to do, do this, though, with a, a medical professional. So I know the, the, the long-term ambition is to have this product either at a home or an office. But how would this work in the meantime? So in the meantime, our authorization allows any healthcare practitioner, whether it's a nurse or a doctor without any special training, to use this product in any setting. So that means that, for example, if we're looking at get back to work, we, businesses could pair um, with uh, healthcare organizations and do on-site molecular testing using our product uh, to get results very quickly. So the main thing here is we don't want to wait. Nobody wants to wait three to five days for a result, uh, but at the same time, they want to test that they can ease use easily. And also, having the data in the mobile device is a significant advantage because it allows for all sorts of additional things like tracking hotspots um, and also you know, being able to monitor people on a regular basis. In, in terms of the technology that you're using, uh, what's the accuracy level? Because, you know, we've looked in, and heard about, for example, the Abbott test. Uh, there have been questions about whether it's any more than 70 or 80 percent reliable. And obviously, in this environment, people want as close to 100 percent as humanly possible. Yeah, one of the big questions in 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 diagnostics is what is your sensitivity um, and the false negative rate. And what we've done with Q, when you look at it and you say, okay, it's really portable, looks easy to use, what's the cache? Well, we can detect a very low level of virus. So even um, 20 copies of the viral genome we can, we can detect, which is at a very low level. So we've done a lot of comparisons to other tests, um, laboratory tests, and we compare very favorably. So our sensitivity is really strong. And that's where your, you know, false negative rate would come from. And so we feel really good about that. Cost of the cost of the reader and then cost of each each test. So if I was a business and I wanted to, to, to put this uh, into and implement this immediately, what would it cost me? And, and how quickly would I be able to, to get access to this test? So, you know, accessibility is very important to us. You won't need a, you know, $3 million lab and, a, a, you know, specialized personnel. You'd be able to run this test um, by just having, purchasing the, this device, which is going to be a few hundred dollars, and then the cartridges, which will be in the, in the tens of dollars, just like um, uh, the other tests that are reimbursed by Medicare. So you could buy a few of these in certain cases or one, uh, it's up to you, but the, the main idea is that we want to make it very accessible. And um, a lot of the instrumentation uh, for traditional laboratory infrastructure is quite expensive, um, and, and we want to make this more accessible. Are you taking orders for this product right now? We have an early access program that we're working on and finalizing the details on, um, and we expect to ship in a few weeks. And then, just so I understand, because I saw you putting that, that the swab up your nose, 
how far up do you have to go? Because we've, we've obviously <laughs> seen other tests where you, where you got to go much farther back. Yeah, I mean, the reality is that there's home, home collection kits and there's other tests that actually go about an inch into the nose. Um, and that's because the virus is, is there. Uh, there's been studies that prove that. Um, so it, with a sufficiently sensitive test like ours, you can go one inch into the nose and collect a good sample that um, if you have the COVID, uh, if you have SARS-CoV-2, then you're very likely to pick it up. So, I mean, obviously from an accessibility perspective and from being able to use it in more settings, that's an important factor. So we really wanted to make sure that that was a, is a good sample site and we're lucky that the physiology and the science support that.